Hello riders from around the world. I am Pavlin and I am a motorcycle adventurer. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why the Tenere is the best motorcycle and why the BMW GS 1250 is the worst motorcycle. Oh, I almost forgot my favorite hat. So grab your favorite drink and stay with me. So, as we were saying, or BMW GS 1250, <laughs> we throw that away. This is why the Tenere is the best motorcycle and why you don't need hard luggage. Traveling with your wife. I come from a small town in Bulgaria and if I can travel for almost cheap, you can do it too. Your destination always matters. And my favorite saying, weight is always matters. <laughs> so, we were saying, why does... Everybody choose the BMW GS. It is a very big and a very expensive bike. So do you really need all this weight? Will you really use this all power powers to travel around the world? Or will you go from coffee shop to coffee shop traveling only on the highways? And how will you go off-road with this big, huge bike? And as I said many times, and I will say it again, we have a big saying, Weight is always matters. <laughs> I would always choose, you say BMW is reliability, has re reliability. How will you repair the BM, BMW when you leave Europe? It will be impossible. You won't have the spare parts and if anything breaks down, you will be stranded. So you say it doesn't have chain. What will you do when when the BMW breaks down, you can do nothing. But my Tenere 700, which is a, which is a cheap bike that cost 11,000 euros, that isn't really cheap, it has the most important thing, it is reliability. And I would always take reliability over electronics, because what is the use of electronics if your bike won't start? And as I said many times, I will say it again, weight is always matters. I have over a thousand videos with my broken English. I come from a small town in Bulgaria and you will say, oh, but Pavlin, <laughs> oh, but Pavlin, you have this big expensive bike. I don't have bike. Oh, really? Is it so? I grew in a small town of Bulgaria in a communist country. I didn't have money for food and I still managed to travel 100, 200 kilometers. It was a big accomplishment. So if I can do it with my broken English, you can do it too. I made over a thousand videos on my channel, but if you don't have the spare time to watch all of the videos, you can also buy my course, which is currently for the past five years on 50% discount. You will learn, learn everything you need about motorcycle traveling in just eight hours, everything you need. But if you don't have the money, you can watch all of the videos. To recap, weight is always matters, grab your favorite drink, soft paneers are better, 